Yeah, yeah, like this is, yeah, yeah, this is like first world, like first world YouTube creator problems. Like we doing this shit as we go. We literally do it. It ain't, shit. it ain't no engineer back there. We doing this shit. We, we doing this, this shit, shit as science. we go. Uh, but as we figure this shit out, um, today we're drinking the Negra Modelo, and this is because this is my favorite Mexican beer. I think this is the best Mexican beer I've ever had. If you're a Mexican and you're offended by that, I'm, I don't mean any offense, especially if you're telling me that it's going to be some more fire. Just drop what you think is better than this, and I'm going to go try it, and then we're going to see. But this, honestly, is the best you know, Mexican beer, you know, even though it's, I mean, well, you know what? It's imported, but it's made in Nava, um, you know, Mexico. So I love this beer because it's got a great body to it. It's still light like a normal, you know, um, you know, Mexican beers are usually kind of a little bit more on the lighter side. But also, it got some punch to it. So if you drink, like, I, you know, I'm the type of person where when I get a six pack, I can probably go through about three or four of them. Now, these are light. These are like 5.4, which is a little, yeah, I'm you know what I mean? I'm not I can drink like four of these and be smacked and be like, yo, this was well worth my purchase, Fair. if you feel what I mean. So, um. See, beer smack is a different level. Of, yo, I ain't been beer smacked since. When your ass had the uh, oh, the, uh, oh, oh, the Lagunitas <laughs> brown sugar, oh my god, yeah, Pappy, oh my god, Pappy hit dude. the Lagunitas brown sugar. He oh he god, he drank bro. three, he drank three. Bro, dog, I was like twenty, <laughs> I, I was like twenty fifteen smacks, bro. I ain't been that smacked in a good ass minute. All I remember was just like sitting. Your ass was like. Are you drunk? <laughs> yeah, I'm just like, sitting there. Yeah, I'm just sitting there. I'm like, I'm just, I'm just see this man eyes roll back and say, I'm like, gee, what the fuck is wrong with this man? Like, we only had like three beers. <laughs> gee, that man was gone. Gee, bro. <laughs> like, cause we was watching Thunder Rockets, bro. And I'm seeing like two Paul Georges, and I'm like, gee, it's over with, gee. I'm trying to watch the game. I see Harden twice. I'm like, bro, it's over with, gee. You know what? I ain't gonna see the rest of this. I literally went upstairs. Tried to watch it in the front room with uh, Scott for a second. Mm -hmm. Then I was like, yeah, bro, it's not working. Because it was Grammy weekend, so my homegirl Kenya was in town. Cause she, we was supposed to go to, a, I think, some like party. Mm -hmm. and she, and she, I would like, walk in, sit down, and I'm like, yeah, bro, it's over with you. I went in, went to sleep, woke up at midnight, text back because somebody had texted me, went back to sleep, woke up 8 a.m. Like, yeah, bro, it's not happening. It's a wrap for you, B. You watched out here in these streets. Right, you know what? It's fine. Um, but I don't even know what point we are in the game. Basically, we, we rewatching the All Star game, game, bro. Um, yeah, we rewatching All Star game. God damn, my allergies been going crazy. I'll be right back. But talk. Um, All Star weekend. I guess I just talk about All Star weekend. I actually kind of did enjoy it. Um, I think that I, I actually I, I think, granted, I wasn't there, so I don't know because I actually wasn't there. But I think that Charlotte, especially with Kimba's um, free agency coming up. I think Charlotte showed themselves and showed that like yo they were a really good city. I think players got to experience Charlotte for the uh, I mean, first time. the Bible Belt. Of course they're a good city. Like, I mean, you know, I mean, fucking do. I mean, like, yeah, ooh, but I mean, yeah, but it city, seemed like, like it was a good like performance. Like again, Charlotte is not a place that like I think people just think to go to. Yo, shout out to J Cole for like actually putting on a good performance because I was right, worried. Yeah, yeah. I'm on lie. J Cole, I was worried. That's what we should name this episode. <laughs> J. Cole, oh, I, was I was worried. J. Cole, I was legit worried. Nah, G. J. Cole but you was, came was through. Fire. G. Nah, it was it was fire. It was fire. Through. It was fire. It was fire. It was fire. I, yeah, I was like, yeah, I'm definitely probably not gonna watch this. And I was like, yo, this is actually really, really dope. Cause I hadn't heard the new song, the middle shower song, I hadn't heard it. I do like it. Yeah, no, I, I mean I like it too. It's it's funny how like uh how how all of the rap purists, you know, they always talk about all these new guys performing and all of this shit. And then you see all of these guys take all the shit that all the new guys do that everybody was kind of like, you know, that kind of make them songs where you basically like sunning all these little dudes. But then you get on stage and even with Cole, like I, I fuck with Cole. But the tune on the middle child is like, oh, yeah, I was, it's yeah, like, I saw, it's like, like but once you the same on one, on. just, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, talk about these little guys. Yeah, like, like, I was I like, yo, it's like, you know what I mean? I, that was the first time I was like, you know what, Cole is just, Cole is slightly hypocritical with this shit, <laughs> but you know what? It's okay. It's okay, Cole. I feel you. Cause, yeah, you, cause like, you can still out bar most rappers. So I feel you, but, but you're funny with that. Cause that, cause I, cause I really <laughs> feel like, especially you taking aim at all these little dudes and then like with you the get on stage and then you turn to tune Like, I mean, then you hop on stage with the tune like J. Cole I was worried but you came through great performance all around um, 
Oh, my only critical note about that halftime performance was "Love Yours." J Cole, <laughs> stop performing. Ah, that, gee, I no, rock with it, bro. I don't want to hit it in the middle of an All Star game. I know you game, don't want to hit in the middle of an All Star game. He keeps trying to make that really into good. a stadium song. Know, it's bro. not a stadium I song, know, bro, okay? But listen, I, I, I would I, much I rather him perform apparently about his mama <laughs> than perform "Love Yours." G, stop performing "Love Yours." Nah, okay? man, I feel him, bro. Like, no, fuck it gave that. it. Nah, bro. Like it gave the halftime show a different vibe. Like it felt like you went to an actual concert. When you watched it by him doing Love Yours, like, yeah, you could have capped it off differently. No, they definitely copied off the like Super Bowl. Concert. They definitely copied off the Super Bowl. Like, it was way more of a performance than it usually was. Yeah. Like, usually it's like them standing on the stage. Exactly. Like, you know, the Super Bowl is always only, them moving around the whole arena and shit. I think the only other dope one I can remember was remember when Kanye did All the Lights? When I think Rihanna did the halftime show, then brought Kanye out. And he did all uh, um, all the lights with Kanye, like, on like, an all red fit. I I'm think a, that's probably the only halftime show I can remember off the top of my head that I can think of was better. I'm, I'm gonna keep it real with your chief. I don't even remember when that shit was. It was like 2011, 2012, something like that. But no, nah, I'm cool. But you know what? Shout out to Cole though, man. That was that was a great performance. You know what I'm saying? I know I, you know I was I know I'm getting jokes off, but for real, shout out to Cole, man. Because honestly, I'm gonna keep it real with your chief. You know, after he kind of faded into the background a little bit, I thought I, I damn near thought like, man, this man Cole finna like turn into a recluse and we never gonna see this man again. But he been out here. But he been out here. Because the man was, he was posting videos of him riding around New York City on a bicycle, G. Like, come on, G. This man said he wanted to be Jay-Z, G. And this man is riding around New York City on a bicycle. Like, Cole, I love you, G. But that's not what I expected him to be. I expected Cole to be Drake and Drake to be like Kendrick and Kendrick to be like... Uh, well, I expected Drake to be huh? like Kendrick. I mean, like, in terms of, like, how big he was. Well, I didn't you think that? Huh? You thought that Cole was going to be bigger than uh, Drake? Yes, because, I never because Cole could always rap better than me than Drake. So yeah, I thought I, Cole was going to be... Yeah, I thought he was going to be able to eventually pull it together. <clears throat> yeah, but who make more hits? Hmm? Yeah, but who make more hits? I didn't think Drake, Drake was. I didn't think Drake was gonna turn into a god. Oh, I told you no. What I knew though. No, no, no. Wait a minute. Why you thought that? What did I tell you like a week or two weeks ago? I said I think Drake is is arguably <coughs> the greatest entertainer of all time. Didn't I tell you that? Yeah, I think you said that. I, I think you said top five or something. Well, like no, that. no, no, no. You know, actually, I said. I said, five, I said no, I actually, I said he's the greatest artist of this generation, and I mean it of our generation. Mm -hmm. Kanye to me is like a little bit last generation. It's like we got him, but like he wasn't really like we won. He, nah, he right. was older than us. Yeah, you're right. Like Drake is the yeah. is the goat of this generation. Like, period. Yeah, if you like, about I, I want to say 26 to probably 29, or maybe even 26 to maybe even like 30, 31. Right? Nah, for yeah. real. Yeah. Nah, right. Drake is yeah. yeah. I mean Drake Drake is the Eminem to me of this generation, and Kendrick is the Jay Z of this generation. But just Jay Z of Jay Z made way more hits. No, that's a bad. That's not a bad take, a, G. Before Beyonce, Jay Z, the the photo New York shit, that was the only number one. That's all I'm saying. So all I'm saying is shout out to Cole, man. You are out here. You are a bona fide superstar, B. I love seeing you out here on the streets. I love seeing you out here with these young dudes, like you know, trying to you know be a, you know you know you know passing on wisdom. We need more of that in this industry. We nah, definitely need more of that in nah, this industry. And so much show love to everybody. Like, and and, and, and that was also one everybody. thing about the All Star Game that I really really enjoyed. It felt like the entire time. All we saw was just like love from everybody. You know what I mean? Even, even, even to the you know, you know, before the game when you know when Steph Curry walked up to AI and, and, yeah, and AI yeah, was like, "Yo, you my top, you are my top five all time." Hey, yo, you gotta, go. yeah. Uh, you know when AI told Steph Curry he was in his top five all time. What are your thoughts on that? Allen Iverson is your favorite player, I but you him. for some reason hate Steph Curry. No, look, I've no look for one. It's just I, I talked about this earlier. Like you, you gotta look at who AI is. AI is a guard. Who is like the main, the, the dominant scoring option on his team, a smaller guard. Before Allen Iverson, what small guard was the dominant scoring option on his team? Isaiah Thomas. That's disrespectful. But hold on, the All Star game, we're we watching it right now. We just hit start. Um, the game is literally about to start. Steph Curry's putting power on his hands. Go back to the NBA app, turn it on, listen to this in the background, have a video playing, whatever y'all want to do, so y'all can see us live react to it, but go ahead. Whereas, I feel you about Isaiah Thomas. I think that Isaiah Thomas was way more of a, what a pure point guard than what Iverson is, or even what you would say Steph is, or Kyrie, or Dame, than what all of these guys are. I think he's more of a, like, what you look at as, like, the quintessential old school version of a point guard, that's Isaiah Thomas. And also, Isaiah Thomas wasn't averaging 30. He was going to have to give you 24. Which is a lot for a guard, but you talking about we all thirty and twenty four is different. Yeah, I mean even Steph is averaging what yeah, 28, twenty eight. Yeah, twenty eight, like every year. And dominate I mean, took him to the fight. so I think that when you just look at what AI meant to basketball and what he knows he went through, like, yeah, I respect Steph. I respect him. I don't why would he hate Steph? 
wow, like these, so like all these guys, all these guys, all these guys basically just expanded upon what AI did. So why do you hate Steph? I don't. I just think that you guys know. I look, even even when um, I did my all time ranking, I always say the second greatest point guard of all time. That personally I've ever seen. I granted I, I I didn't see Isaiah Thomas play every night. I didn't see Nate play every night. I didn't even see Gary Payton play every night. But the point guards that I've seen where well, I would rank them in, it's probably number two all the time. Two time MVP, one three rings, he's a conference. But if we're talking about basketball. Four, you mean. What's coming? Four, four. four is coming. But if we uh no, he's three. One, no, he's only one three, but Whatever. four is coming. Four is we coming. Don't we, exactly. we don't know. You said it first. We don't four. know. You said four. No, nah, I first. thought he had four rings. I don't like the exactly. I thought he That's had four amazing. rings. That's how amazing he is. How many rings do you think LeBron had? Three. Uh -huh. You know, you wonder what I learned from this at All Star Game. What? It's re LeBron. This is really not LeBron League no more. But it's listen, a rap. It's, but it's literally like I told y'all. But like, look, bro. Can you just admit that I was right when I said that this was? The, I mean, that last year was the end of an era for LeBron James. I mean, like, can you admit that I was right? Like I said, I predicted all of this. Not shirt. really, bro. He like, didn't even get the most goddamn All Star votes. But he's still the captain of the team, bro. It's called Team LeBron. Until we look on the thing and it says somebody besides Team LeBron. Next year it won't say that. It'll be Team Luka Doncic. We'll see. We don't know. We'll see. It will be. We'll we will see. But going but going back to my point, no, I just think that you guys, the only person who I say better than a man right now is Kyrie. And I just think people just don't understand what Kyrie Irving is when it comes yeah, to skill. He's not that, no, he's look, not that listen, good. stop, 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 good. stop, stop, stop. When it comes to skill, G, I have never seen a man that size be that skilled at basketball. He did some shit in this game today when I literally didn't know what the fuck he did. We were watching a replay of the All Star game. It was like some movie he went to the rim. It was like some movie he went to the rim, spun around, and did something. I like, D, I don't even know what you just did. I think when it comes to skill, Kyrie Irving is the most skilled guard on the face of the earth right now. Kyrie Irving, point guard, three sixty, but like Steph Curry, point guard. But obviously, if we're talking about who's more accomplished, yeah, it's obviously Steph. But more accomplished don't mean you the better player. Like that, I, I like. I think when people say when when I say, "Oh, Kyrie is oh, Kyrie don't even have better numbers." Nothing, that don't mean nothing. nothing that bro, he does numbers, is better look, than Steph look, Curry, that bro. Other mean than dribble, bro. bro. No, bro, numbers. Dribble and head look, fake. Look, look, yeah, spin the ball off the rim. Look, room. numbers. I give credit for that. Numbers are a product of the system. I think I even looked at earlier. Uh, like Kyrie, Steph on average averages three more touches than um Kyrie does a game. I think Steph is at seventy-seven yeah, point seven. Is a better hold player. on, hold on. I think Steph is at seventy-seven point seven, and I think that Kyrie is at. 75.8 this offense is pretty much designed for Steph to score I think that what Kyrie has to do in Boston he's asked to be more of a point guard but you told me that but you told me that Steph just coming off screens this year so I'm confused yeah Making but they run a lot of fucking screens for the man G. no but then how but how is he getting more touches then I'm confused it, huh yo your whole argument is based you can around touch touches but look because yeah, look, it's, you can it's touch based the around ball. him getting more touches but you telling me that Steph Curry is just coming off screens this year and he's coming off a lot of screens like yes like he might bring it up court but he'll pass it and run around screens go get the shit back a touch of you just touching the ball. But even still, this man is averaging even – look, so look, everybody complaining about this man playing all ball more this year. Warriors fans say that. But the man still giving you 77.7 .7 touches a night. So we touching the ball a lot. The offense is designed for this man to score the ball. No, the offense is designed for them to pass the ball. That's why he gets so many touches. Whatever. I'm just the keeping, offense I'm just is still designed it, for this man. The offense, the offense is designed for this man to score the ball. Who is the number one scoring option for the most part on the Warriors? Steph Curry. I, exactly. Who's so the, the best offense, player more, Steph Curry. No, you out. Who's the goat? Steph you Curry. You out. So again, my player, I think Steph that Curry. Kyrie Irving is going to annihilate everybody in the playoffs. Steph Curry. I Who's going to be mad? You. I think that's that, what you happens when you hate on Steph. Curry. I think that Kyrie Irving is in a situation in which he has to be at least right now much more of a point guard than what. Um, Steph has to be, and also you got to look at what Boston is going through. They still Man, trying to why he ain't averaging listen minutes. because look, listen, bro. They still try, they got a different fucking team. Ain't no Clay's over there. I'm in the back court with fucking Marcus Smart. I could pass the ball all day, but you got to make a shot. Now Marcus Smart been shooting better this year, but that's still not like playing with fucking Clay and fucking Kevin Durant. Oh, it's okay. So again, and look, Boston is in a situation in which. They're still trying to figure out what they're doing as a team. And that roster isn't constructed as good as the Warriors roster. It's just not. They got 90 people who do the same thing, which is why I really would prefer Kyrie to leave Boston and go to a team that's built around him. I've never seen Kyrie Irving play with a team that's built around him yet. I've seen him be the best player on the team. And and even look, I even say, I've been saying this forever, game five of the finals, to me that's Kyrie Irving game more than it is LeBron James game. Game five and game seven. Fair. Fine. If you want, I disagree with you about and game, game seven. Three. 
Okay. And game one. Fine. I disagree with you. <laughs> that was Kyrie Irving's uh, MVP I disagree trophy. With you. Okay. LeBron stole that away from him, but I feel him. Okay, so cool. LeBron we talking won that off legacy alone. He did okay, not win cool. that shit off the strength. Cool. So that even strengthens my argument. Like I think that Kyrie Irving, even in that final series, had one of the best finals performances we've ever seen. And that game five, specifically that game five, is a top ten performance in NBA Finals history. That shit was fucking incredible. I mean, and when it goes back to skill, bro, Kyrie Irving. When I look at just watching basketball, the man is the most skilled guard for his size I've ever seen just in my life. Just because he's the most skilled, don't that mean that he's the best. Be, yes, no, it does. It what the fuck do you mean? Yes, no, it, it does. No, he's it the don't. best at that How position that in the NBA right now. How does that make sense to you? Huh? How does that make sense to you? What are you talking about? I'm not talking about. Look, I didn't say you rank the man over that man all the time. I said right now when I look when I look at basketball and and look around the league, Kyrie Irving is the best player. Everything that he does, he does is less than what Steph Curry does. No, it's not. It's way Watch less. Watch the shit. You looking at you looking too much at the numbers, bro. Again, <laughs> the numbers are a product of the system that you're in. You act like I don't watch basketball, my G. Come on, dog. Stop that. So I like just because you sit up all night no, long and watch 1992 no, I, highlights. G, no, bro. Of if you fucking watch, Bucks no, versus goddamn the seriously, Washington National, G, fuck out of here. G, G, if you watch the game, I don't know how you can sit up here and say this man ain't more skilled. He is. He's mm. more skilled than him. He is. Now it's not by a huge fucking amount. I'm not saying this man but like just because he's more skilled don't make that man better. What the fuck do you mean? He does everything on the basketball court better than this man. He's only more besides skilled. shoot threes. He's only more skilled at dribbling than him. I disagree with you. You're off the. But dope. that's where we disagree. He, that's no. That's where you're wrong because every, I think he's a better single. You're wrong. No, bro. I think he's a better single-handed defender. I think he passes the ball better. But but a reason why he passes the ball better is because he handles the ball so crazy that he fits shit in angles that it's like fucking insane. Even like, look, look. So why wait. everybody always choosing Steph Curry over Kyrie Irving? Because that's what, I, that's what I wanted though. Because why is Steph always the number one choice over Kyrie Irving? If Kyrie Irving is better than him, if Kyrie Irving is as good as advertised, why? If James Harden, even if James Harden, the guy who's going to win the MVP because this, no, 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 stop, 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 okay. stop. Even if James Harden, the guy who's going to win MVP this year, the man came off the bench with like six minutes left in the first quarter. The man is going to win MVP. You want to know why he didn't start? Because motherfucking Steph. Curry started. Yes, okay, but listen, damn it. But okay, listen, bro. Steph Curry that's started. Because, but Steph look, Curry. That's it's because better I than think, all of those guys. Listen, you but gotta that, wake up listen, and smell the goddamn Steph Curry coffee because listen, it's brewing bro. and it's cooking, okay? Listen, bro, but that's because I think when a lot of people quantify best, mostly what they quantify is damn near is off nostalgia and like accomplishments and like. Bro, you say like the man ain't averaging more points per game than Kyrie. I understand that, like, yes, I feel you. Yes, he is. He's also taking two touches. He's also taking no look. Hold on, hold on, look. He's also also taking You're way, pitiful. This no, argument bro, is pitiful. No, stop. He's also taking way more threes than the man. Also, he's playing on the fucking better team. The fucking you can't even really key in on that man on this uh on on the um Celtics like Kyrie like you can on Steph on the Warriors. You just can't because there's better people playing good. with you. And when there's better people playing with you, it makes the game easier for you. Again, I'm not saying like look. If you disagree with me, that's fine. I feel you. But for people to act like it ain't no fucking discussion, it's disrespectful to who Kyrie Irving is. It's not is. a discussion. As a basketball player. It's not a discussion. One guy gets chosen over the other one all the what time. What does that mean? That's and popularity. And that's why the other guy that's is popularity. better. popularity. No, it's that's not popularity. popularity. We're still watching him put up numbers. You act like this man is LeBron James out here and his reign is over. His reign is still in the middle of like, it. Gee, what is even wrong with, the with you? LeBron shit. James' even reign is over. Shit, Steph Curry's reign is just beginning. Gee, even okay? with LeBron shit, Get bro. over it. Even get with the bronze shit, bro. Guess the man what? bronze Steph averaging Curry 27 and 7. Nowhere. Steph Curry ain't going nowhere. That's cool. Get over it. I didn't it. say he was going to go get somewhere. Over That's it. cool. Quit your hating. Get How over is it? it. Look. Look me in my eyes. He ain't going nowhere. Okay. He ain't going okay. nowhere. That's cool. He ain't going nowhere. That's beautiful. And get Kyrie Irving. That's beautiful. And get Kyrie Irving isn't going anywhere. He is anywhere. a warrior. He's hold on. He is a warrior he isn't for going life. Anywhere, anywhere. Which means he is going to be wrecking your dreams for the rest of his <laughs> life. Listen. Until my listen. son Ben Simmons comes through and wrecks the motherfucking Okay, that's dope. So get over it. And also, Fuck Kyrie Irving right is 27 here. years old. If he stays healthy, he's not in his prime yet. And we can he can still get better from what we're seeing already. If Kyrie Irving was 6'6". Six, six, Steph I, Curry at the end of listen, his prime? Huh? Steph Curry at the end of his prime? He got about like a year or two left in it. He's what, 30, 30 years old right now? 30? Yeah, probably got like a year or two left in it before you start hitting a decline. Really? A 90, 50, 40 shooter finna hit a decline like that? Yeah. Who game ain't built off of athleticism but come yeah. around screens. I mean, JJ yeah. Reddick still averaging 19 points per game right now. Steph Curry That's prime dope. finna be over. 
That's dope. You a f- you a That's dope. Man, I'm not saying, like, look, G, bro. he's 30 years old. He's going to be about what? I said in two years. That puts you at, like, 32, 33. He's also a guard. He doesn't have the strength of some people. Like, yeah, he's going to always be able to shoot, always get numbers. But what happens when you lose a little bit of your quickness and you can't get to the rim as good? And we can just throw bigger people on you. Also, it depends on who he plays with. I don't even know what the fuck who's going to be on the team next year. I mean, yeah, if KD stay there, it'll extend a little bit longer because Draymond have Green, longer. regardless, Draymond Green will still be there. What the fuck is it that? Matter. What? So what you mean? What the? F- you said Draymond Green gonna be there after I say KD gonna be there? Huh? And look, I want KD to leave. I've been telling you I want so, KD to so, leave for two years. But so what you do you understand about? how fucking insane of a loss KD is? Who gonna replace that man? Find somebody, man. Go sign Chris Middleton, G. Dead ass. Go Chris Middleton a bag. You still going to the finals? You still going to the finals? You're still going to the finals? Because Katie going to go to the East and get smacked in the second round by the goddamn Washington Wizards next year. And, and we're going to be laughing. John Wall. Y'all gotta stop disrespecting John, KD, bro. John Wall going to be out here like Willis Reed. Y'all got to stop disrespecting John KD. John Wall going to be out here like you, Willis you, Reed. You, 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 you really got to stop Wall, disrespecting John KD. John Wall, Come John on. Wall said he done with listen, the couches. Listen, listen, Yo, 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 you know what? Yo, I'm sorry. I'm going to stop making fun of John Wall. Yo, I know you're going through some tough shit. My bad, John Wall. I'm, it's literally just jokes. My bad, G. I'm sorry. I'm gonna leave you alone until next season when you get healthy. Listen and, and pray us up for your mom as well. I'm sorry, John Wall. I'm gonna be nice to John Wall. Listen, nah, dead ass. You think that uh, without Kevin Durant, if you put Chris Middleton on the Warriors the past two years, they get the rings with Clay Thompson? Yeah, yeah. You're wild. You're this year, wild. this year's Chris Middleton. Yeah. Or next year's Christmas? This year's Christmas. Yes. You're wild. Yes. They might not beat the Cavs last year. I'm you're dead ass serious. You're fuck. wild. Did you see how the, LeBron James did, came did, out? Did you see how game? Chris Middleton been looking? She, come on. That's not Kevin Durant. You're no, wild. I'm sorry, bro. You're no. Wild. She, what? No. You still going to have three 20 point per game? You're wild fucking floor. Kevin Durant. Huh? You're wild fucking Kevin Durant. What's your point? Chris Middleton barely give you 20. It's like 19.9. Huh? Gee, who you think the fuck? Steve, you think Steve Kerr not going to maximize Chris Middleton? Who the fuck? I don't know. Oh my god, dog! I'm. I still don't know how great the, it's of too a coach late. Steve Curry is. It's too late in the afternoon to be having these conversations. I think Steve Curry is a good coach, yes, but I don't know if I'm ready to put him in the all-time echelon of amazing coaches. Up there with the Fields and the Pops and the Rileys. He already better than Pat Riley. Gee, Riley done done it with multiple different groups and multiple different teams, bro. He did it with the Lakers. He did it with fucking the Heat. The Knicks only had a good coach, team. Only, coach, lost only to Mike. coach of Steve Kerr really ain't arguably better than me are Phil Jackson and Greg Popovich. And if and Red oh, Auerbach, I if disagree you, with and you, Red bro. If you want to argue I disagree Red with Auerbach. you. You got to look at how many rosters that these people have done it with. They done got there with multiple rosters. I don't care about that shit. And always, they didn't have every, the talent that every, Steve Kerr had. Every, every year... Everybody's built to beat them, and for some reason they can't beat them. You want to know why? That's good coaching. That's good coaching. Yeah. That's good coaching. Guess what? OKC had three guys that won MVP on their team, and they couldn't pull it together. You want to know why? Because they had a terrible fucking coach. That's not why. If, if Steve they Kerr was, were just young, they Steve, were also like twenty-two. If Steve, if Steve Kerr was coaching them, I bet you they would have won. I disagree. They were also like twenty-two. If Steve Kerr was coaching them, I bet you they would have won that ring. No, they wouldn't have. Yes, they, they were they like twenty-two have. years old. If Steve Kerr was coaching them, they would have won that ring. No, I don't think they would. No, I don't think they were mentally ready. I disagree with you. I just don't think that they were mentally ready yet. No. Period. And also, what people don't remember, the Thunder had a chance to go up 2-0 in that series. And there was a foul call with, uh, with, with about like 30 seconds left that was super questionable and gave Miami the lead, and they went on to win that game. So, yes, they lost in five, but it was a lot closer than what people remember it was. This is also why I say playoff series sometimes are closer than what it says up there. Like, yeah, it could be 4-1, but if all those games were decided by less than fucking three points, you realistically had a chance to fucking take a seven. So you really believe in moral victories then, huh? That's not a moral victory. You still lost the game. But when you go back and you reanalyze and you look at it in the summer, you're like, okay, you know what? We don't have to do a complete overhaul. I know if we just change this and this and this. Yeah, but then they go make an adjustment for you. That's what good coaching is. That's what Steve listen, Kerr does. Stop disrespecting the man. Listen, Jesus. listen, 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 listen. All, I, all I'm saying is like, if you can go back and look at a series and be like, yo, you know what? We had a chance. As opposed to you lost every game by like 15 points. You got completely over the fuck power. But again, those are things that people don't remember when they just look at four to one. Even the finals last year, I know you think you know, like yes, they did get swept. I but, called it before. Yeah, but look, it had a realistic chance to go oh six. My God. Game um three was very very close, and obviously game one. If they go back and take that, realistically could have been a six game series. Now again, two and four were what it was, but they didn't get completely overwhelmed the way everybody think they got completely overwhelmed. 
How was not how was getting swept not getting completely over? Because you had what two basketball games. Game because you because because bro, you had you, two. You starting to sound like these reporter dudes that no. don't be doing what they talking about. What the listen, fuck bro, are be, you talking about? Listen, bro, because how does you that had make sense two, to you? Listen, bro, because you had two games that realistically could have went either way. It's not like they every came game out could every go night. either way. No, look, listen, it's not like they came out every night and lost by 10, 15 points. You got game three if Rodney Hood fucking doesn't just completely leave Steph at the top of the key. He might miss that three, or you don't know what happens. And then I think it was still 89. I don't, I don't, I don't remember what the You sitting here cataloging players point. in a loss. But listen, but listen. All I'm like saying is, look, if he doesn't do that, then maybe you win that game. If you can get it to, my thing is, what was the score when two minutes happened? Because two minutes left in the fourth. Because at that point, it's a whole new game. If you get the two minutes left in the fourth, and it's in between five points or like in between three points, you had a realistic shot to win that game. It's not like you came out every night and got smacked. By fucking twenty points. So why did so why did LeBron James stay and try to go back at it again and build because some new why? pieces? Because why? Because why? Why do I want to live in Cleveland? Okay. And you, and do you not see what LeBron James is trying to do with his movies and stuff? You can't do that shit in Cleveland. I mean, like, sure, like you might think the Lakers have a better roster, which I think they do as well. But also, it's a life decision. This is probably the last contract LeBron gonna sign. Why would I not want to play in LA? And also, I'm ready for a new challenge. I, I, I said I was going to come back and give Cleveland a ring. I came back and got Cleveland a ring. Let me live out my next chapter. Let me do something else. I don't even know how we got here in this part of the conversation. Because you just got excuses on excuses It's not an excuse. excuses. How is it this an excuse? This started with you copping pleas for Kyrie Irving. I'm not copping pleas for Kyrie Irving. You literally Irvin. started with you copping no, pleas for Kyrie Irving. No, bro. Then you to start copping pleas for LeBron James. Look, dude, then to you me, still, Kyrie Irving. Then you start hating on Steph Curry. Look, bro. Then you to start me, Kyrie hating on Steve Kerr. Then you basically, yes, come listen, on, man. Come on, To man. me, Kyrie Irving is Kobe Bryant in a smaller body. Kobe Bryant in a smaller body ain't better than Steph Curry. Kobe Bryant in his body is better than Steph Curry. Oh, and Kobe God. Bryant in his oh, body is better than Steph God. Curry for about one more season. And then that shit is a wrap. And when Steph, once Steph Curry gets the five, I don't want to ever hear Kobe's name at, mentioned in the same category with him. Looking at, because even you would sit up and tell me that he's more of a two guard than a point guard. So even if you tell him yeah, that, he's not he, better. He, he, no. he does nothing on a basketball court All better right, besides whatever. shoot threes. Literally, no, I'm sorry, what bro. does he do better than Kobe Bryant besides huh? shoot three? Huh? What does he do better than Kobe Bryant besides uh, shoot a three? Uh, uh, supremely efficient. Efficiency matters, bro. This man Kobe out here jacking up. What does up he do better, G? Everything. He's way more efficient at everything. What the fuck does that mean? What the fuck does so he mean? So fucking what? Does that Watch mean? the goddamn game. You shoot can't better from everywhere. Like that don't you, mean you better. He so put up thirty in the season. season. You can't even act like he can't score. He put up thirty in the season. Kobe was giving he, he you thirty-five. Damn, thirty. Kobe was giving you thirty-five. Because Kobe was jacking up twenty-five shots a night. If Steph Curry jacking yeah, up twenty-five fuck, shots a night, he gonna give you thirty-five. Over fucking double teams and over three people. They was double teaming the man in an All Star game. That's cool. You should. He could shoot. And look at the people who he playing with. Like, G, no, just watch the damn <laughs> game, G. Like, no, like, what skill does he do better than that man besides Everything. Shabriz? He can dribble no. better. Yes, he can. He I don't can, think he, he can. He can dribble better. He, he can, can shoot better. better. He can't he pass can shoot better. better he can't post better. better. He can't he defend can better. better. He can't rebound better. Yes, he no, can. he can. Yes, he can, bro. He can't finish better Kobe, than Kobe. Kobe can do better than him was done, bro. He can't bro. finish better than Kobe. Kobe can do better than him was done. Gee, literally, no, stop. I looked this up today. Actually, no, actually, no, actually, no. I take it back. Only thing Kobe can do better than Steph Curry is mid-range post and and I mean anything involving the post and dunk. That's he it. can't finish better. No. Gee, I was he, even looking. I just said dunk. That's he it. don't even drive. Gee, I was looking at the people who drive the most on the on the top fifty list. He ain't even up there. And also look at the space on the court. It ain't even. Steph Curry ain't on that. He ain't gonna be on that either. Gee, so what we talking listen, about? What? What you mean, Steph Curry? I said, the- I said, look, if you look at the top fifty people who like get the most drives a game, Steph fifty is Steph Curry is not in the top fifty. Okay, so what? That's because he can 50. shoot. But listen, Kobe Bryant can shoot. Like listen, Steph Curry, guess listen, what? He would have been jacking that bitch Kobe, even more. No, bro. Kobe never played with the space in, in which Steph Curry is playing with on the Warriors. Kobe never played with Klay Thompson and Cause, fucking cause Kevin Durant. Kobe didn't want to pass the ball, G. That's this. No, that, no that's not true. The man was top ten in fucking Kobe. assists. The man is top ten in fucking assists. It's just like, why the fuck am I passing the ball when I'm usually the best scorer? Fuck that shit. I'm getting forty. That's why he's better. Steph better. No, hashtag, he is not. Hashtag, that, that name of the episode is hashtag Steph better than no, Kobe. You're, yes, no, that's the name of the episode. That's, no. Hashtag Steph better than he Kobe. He does nothing better than once, Kobe. Once Steph get his fourth ring. You're looking too much at winning and using this category as somebody's once basketball Steph get, skill. Well, okay, okay, look, okay. Look, I'm not going to say Steph is better than Kobe right now. But once he get his fourth ring this season. No. Once he get his fourth that, ring in the season, then Steph Curry then moves into my top ten all time. That's fair. Um, and then At and, Legacy, that's fair. Uh, no, he moves to my top ten all time. 
I'm sorry, Tim Duncan, but Tim Duncan is going to be removed from my top 10 all time. Because then that means that Kevin Durant also goes into my top 10 all time at the same time. So that also means that somebody else got to go. And I got to figure out who that is. Because right now, I think my top 10 all time. I mean, honestly, Steph Curry and Kevin Durant are already in my top 10 all time. I don't really you care what anybody says. I mean, they're already in my top 10. I don't care what anybody says. Uh, I think my top 10 all time is like Michael Jordan, um, LeBron, obviously, Magic Johnson, Kareem. I'm going to go. I'm going to go. Hmm, this is tough. This is tough. I'm going to go Wilt. I'm going to go Shaq. That's six. You could like pull up. I'm going to go Steph Curry. No, I fucked that old one. I'm going to go Steph Curry. I'm going to go Kevin like, Durant. Like, like, and I'm going to go Larry Bird. Other than that, that's it. I think I had Steph at 20 on my 50 greatest players list at 20. And I had KD at 14. If they win another ring, I'll move KD up to maybe 9 or 10. And I can move Steph up to like 15. Steph already in my top 10s. I got Steph over KD. Um, no, I, 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 guess, I, 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 I got Steph, I got Steph eight. I got KD nine. I got Larry Bird ten. He's not a better basketball player than Kevin Durant. Yeah, but Kevin Durant came to his team. So, so fuck what? That. They needed him. No, fuck. They that. needed him. Gee, nope. I don't but Chris think Middleton Warriors this win. year on that team, and they and they gonna beat the that Warriors, team. I don't think the Warriors win any more rings if Kevin Durant does not come there. Mm, I disagree. I think with LeBron that. repeats goes um back to back. Kyrie Irving probably still damn near in Cleveland. Or I don't even think the Warriors get back to the finals next year because I think that with the addition of Oladipo. The Thunder would be better, and I think Horford might have went there. Cause remember the um, discussion at the time was Horford was gonna um, pick between the Thunder or Boston. But since Kevin Durant left, obviously the Thunder fall off the list. I think Horford, if even if the team is even if the three players are Oladipo, uh, Russ, and KD, you have nobody to have Steph on. What they did was they hit Steph on Robinson in that series. The whole series, and he didn't have to play defense. You have nobody to have that man on, and also that fucks up the spacing on the court if Robinson is out there. Like I said, you can hate no. all you want to. They went to they went to the championship two years without Kevin Durant. They did. They would have went back again without I Kevin Durant. With you. Kevin Durant needed to come to this team. That's why Kevin Durant would never other. be ranked higher than Steph Curry. They needed each other. No. Like no. again, look. No. Again, no, no. what you got to remember about the Kevin Warriors Durant is, needed Steph Curry. What you he rode about a free, Warriors easy is, ride look, to a championship, and I'm not upset with him. Look, what you got to remember about the Warriors? Because I want to go and work, and I want to be working at the best companies too. It wasn't so a free ride. So I don't want nobody to jump. It was a free ride no, to a championship. Look, yes, it was. It was easy. What I, Katie got off easy, and I'm not mad at him for that. I never judged him listen, for that. I was the main person taking up for him for that. Listen, you what, called it weak. You listen, said it was the weakest basketball move you had. Yeah, ever seen. and then like I, and then like I actually had time to watch it, and I'm like, you know what? I 100 percent understand why you went because you playing the way you want to play basketball. You, day by day, you plan like they are. They are like the, the thing about the Warriors is they pretty much were a team that won ahead of schedule. Like so if they, they won ahead of schedule and Kevin Durant didn't come, then how they gonna how they gonna not be in in the mix? Because look, just because you like things had to happen for them to win. Like I think if again, because we get hit now, it goes back to whoa. But Cleveland was not healthy. Obviously, Kyrie is hurt and Kevin Love is hurt. So, like, you beat a team that was beat up. The ifs are crazy because but, Steph but Curry listen, had an MCL listen, sprain, listen, a grade, what is listen, grade two in the listen, playoffs? Come yes, on, man. And, yes, and listen. Come look, on, man. Your king look, just set out for look, two weeks. Look, I mean, for listen, five weeks with that. Listen. Your king did listen, that. Listen, listen. His team listen, went to the playoffs because he did listen, that. Listen, and what I'm saying is I think that. That's also like, why LeBron washed. Even, even, like, their, um, their um, management said, like, yo, we're, we're really homegrown. Like, we built the team, and then we signed the best free agent. Like that's what you do. You build a team and then you sign the best free agent. They hadn't. They they still had that money because um, well obviously I think uh, Steph uh, was hurt and he had the injury. But but they still had that money because they were still in the process of building the team. They the Cavs did that too. Hmm? The Cavs built the team and signed the best free agent. I know. Okay. I, that's well, why they trade. Well, yeah, I mean exactly. Yeah. LeBron. I'm talking about LeBron. Yeah. Okay then. But at that point, you didn't have another All Star. Like you had just that. I think they won ahead of schedule. Was, was Clay All Star in 2015? Yes. It was like you had well some dominant team like three All Stars. Like no, you didn't have that. They were a really good team before. Kevin Durant made them super. Uh, made them a super team. They were just a really good team before. Even the team that went seven three and nine was a really good team. Kevin Durant was the Kev, like if Steph Curry when the sprain his MCL. That would have been easy back to back repeat. Kyrie Irving doesn't get hurt. They probably back to back. Exactly. So stop talking to me about if Steph Curry is living in listen, the now, my friend. Listen, he's so living in the now. And listen, guess what so he's finna do? He's finna dominate this playoffs. You know what Kyrie gonna do? 
Kyrie will get sent home by the Detroit Pistons, and I'm going to laugh. You're wild. You're wild. Celtics losing to the Pistons if they play no, them in the not. first round. No, yes, they are. Not. No, they're not. No, they're not. Which is, again, also why I, well, why I hope Kyrie Irving can stay healthy. Hope his knee is good because I think we're going to get a crazy-ass playoffs from Kyrie. Like, look, even everybody says, oh, Boston is struggling. Bro, they're still on pace to win 50 games with a whole new team. Like, I don't think people understand how hard it is to – acclimate two guys like Hayward and Kyrie into the offense. There's only so many shots. And also the other guys gotta dial it back. Like you you had all that success and now you coming back with a whole new team. Literally a whole new team with with a whole bunch of young guys who still learning who they are as basketball players. They got a lot of shit going on. It's gonna take that some time. That dunk by PG in the All Star game was better than Dennis Smith, than every dunk Dennis Smith Jr. did. Yo, Dennis Smith Jr. That was that was really sad. You embarrassed J Cole. He just kept missing. That's the only thing. Like if he would, I told you though. Like if like if he would have just made the dunks, it would have been an incredible dunk contest for him. But he just kept missing. It was awful. He definitely didn't deserve to go to the final round. Yeah, he gave that man yeah. a fifty for that. That was wild. I mean, I feel him. I feel him. He landed the dunk. It was incredible, but the presentation was terrible. So you can't get a man. John Collins' first it, dunk. Yo, that Giannis and Steph dunk was the craziest dunk I've ever seen in a, in a game ever. That shit was insane. He literally threw that ball up, and it just and it landed perfectly, like perfectly in the pocket. Giannis is just so long that, that like out of, of of what he does doesn't look crazy impressive to me, because he's just so long. You're wild. But like I even did. his dunk over Tim Hardaway Jr. Like yeah, you jumped over the man, but he just didn't look as that like as impressive. I can't agree with you on that one, but I will say one thing. I one one thing I will say. I really enjoyed watching Clay and all. Like, oh really? I did. He finally got some court swag. He put like the knee pads on. Had some like court swag. Like I I, I finally and he went in the Warriors jersey. I finally actually I was like yo I actually enjoying watching the play right now. Like if he leaves to come to the Lakers, I hope y'all know he's gonna be one of my favorite players in the league. I'm gonna be so annoying. I'm gonna be extremely annoying. Extremely. Come to the Lakers, Clay. You be like literally, it'll, it'll it'll be Kyrie Irving, LeBron James, Trey Young, Clay Thompson. Oh, I thought you were saying on the same team. I was no. gonna say what? No, no, no. I'm talking about players you? in which I like. Uh, oh. Well, Harden is in there too, and players in which I will really enjoy watching. And also, I think the step shot on Clay was one of the best moments. Was like probably the best moment of the game for me. It was funny as hell. Yeah, I mean, even Clay commented on that. Yeah, like it was funny. Like Clay was like, "What the fuck, bro?" He was literally like, "Literally like, what the fuck?" Yeah, I mean, but Clay does that to people sometimes too. So it's like, you get yeah, it was just hilarious like, that it was them too. Yeah, because I can tell that probably because that's probably happened in practice like nine million times. I'm sure they don't always play on the same team in practice, and I'm, I'm, I'm sure that's happened in practice like nine million times before. And it's like, what the fuck, bro? I'm sure you had the same reaction in practice. Yeah, I would too. Um, but what are your thoughts on this All Star game, All Star Extravaganza? Actually, All Star Friday night um, was you know was dope. Kuzma, shout out to Kuzma. Um, Trey Young should have won MVP. Kuzma, you know, you know what I'm saying. Kuzma Trae had a won. Kuzma had a super girl. Um, I'm sorry, his supermodel girlfriend tweeting after the game like that's my baby. I'm like, yeah, Kuzma. Trey Young should have won. Kuzma getting lit out in these streets, B. Trey Young had uh, 20. Watch MVP. Kuzma finna start wearing cheetah print shirts. And there's going to be a rap, G. Kuzma Murphy. I'm going to start calling him Kuzma Eddie Murphy, G. Trey Young had 28 and 10 and like seven rebounds. Trey Young should have won the MVP. No, Even, he yes, he should have. Even like fucking the fucking world team was, I think, up by like. Luca, you let me down. 10. Um, look, man, look. I think Trey Young's going to have a better career than Luca. I think in I think in uh, five years, Trey Young will be the better player between those two. Trey Young not going to even. Trey Young not going to ever make an NBA Finals. That don't mean you're not a better basketball player, bro. He's not going to be a better basketball player than Luka Doncic. I think he will no, be. No, he's not. Luka Doncic is already be. better than a young LeBron James. Trey no, Young is better than a young I LeBron James. I think that Trey Young, for, I think that what he needs to do is just get stronger because I think that a lot of his shooting woes recently, for one, is shot selection. He was taking some wild-ass shots sometimes. Like, so why are you shooting it. that shit? Do it. He do it, it's yes. Easy. Do it, yes, but... It's situational. Like, it'll be some shots that he'll take. It's like, I feel you, but that's the wrong situation for that shot. But also, I think that once he gets stronger, it'll be easier. Like, that like that three-point line is far as fuck away. But I think once he gets stronger, it'll probably be easier for him to even shoot the ball. Like, literally just shooting the ball. And I think, I, again, I looked this up today. I think he's fourth in the league in drives. As far as, like, driving to the paint, he's fourth in the league in good, drives. Good, good. he's a rookie. So once he learns how to get his foul calls, it's over. Exactly. That's, but, which is why he's better than Trey Young. No. That's Trey Young. That's one of the league in the uh, 
No, oh, come on. Exactly. Trey Young is full of negative drives. I swear to God. Oh no, no, I, no I believe you. No, so, I believe you. I believe you. He's a great. I mean, he's a great. He's a great he's also, driving kick. He reminds me a lot of like John Steve Stockton. Had, if he, no, Steve John, no, he reminds me a lot of his driving kicks like John Stockton. If if John Stockton would actually want to score, that's fair. Okay. I'm not. I'm not I'm no, no, I'm no, I'm no, 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 but, Young, no, no, but that's what I think Trey Young. No, I think Trey Young is like Steve Nash or John Stockton. I think that's like really. I'm gonna go. Steve Nash is my comparison for Trey Young. The one thing about Steve Nash, you couldn't stop that man from getting in the paint. Ever. And again, I tweeted this and everybody like went crazy on me. But you know Steve Young low key is one Steve of Steve Young or Steve Nash. I mean, fine. Steve Nash is low Steve key. Young. Steve, Steve Young. Young is low Steve key Nash, out there. Steve Nash is low key one of the greatest three point shooters in the NBA history. People don't recognize it. Like if I go No, he is. I mean yeah, statistically, yes, easily. Yeah, but like that's something people don't recognize though. Like if I go up and walk up to most people like, yo, give me your top three uh, your top five three point shooters, most people not gonna have Steve Nash in there. Cause he didn't take as the like the volume wasn't as high. Which but the man was still out there was, shooting forty percent every single which night. Is why are you saying this man, Cliff Paul, is better than him? Ski Mask Paul is better than him. Is disrespectful? No, it's not. Yes, it is. yes, it is. No, it's not. Yes. No. Yes. It's not. It is. No. It is. No, because it again, is. I think that Chris Paul was just Isaiah Thomas, just without privilege. Nah, Chris Paul out here getting yoga injuries, man. Like Steve I mean, Nash out here with car with, with like car accident injuries on the back. Like that's how bad Steve Nash. I mean, back yeah, was. but nah, Chris Paul still won two MVPs. I Chris mean, yeah, but, gets not. I mean, yeah, but first of all, he I'm should, not. First you of all, know, Trey Young, Young is gonna be better than Chris Paul easily. Easily, I think he's gonna be way better than Chris Paul. I mean, he's not gonna make an NBA Finals, but at least he'll get to a conference Finals. Actually, Chris, I don't, Paul, I just, Chris Paul never gonna make it to an NBA Finals. I disagree with man. Look, man, look, Atlanta got a whole lot of cap room, and and I love that young core. I love John Collins. I love uh, uh, Luke, uh, the um, two guard they got. Luke. Horta. Yeah, yeah, Horta. I love Horta. They're going to have, they probably, Dallas probably ain't going to lose enough to get in the top five to uh, pick, to um, keep their pick. So they probably going to have two lottery picks. Like, and and they going to have money. And they and it's Atlanta. It's a good city. I'm telling you, I think I, I, I think that's the Warriors 2.0. It's the Hawks. I'm not upset at that. I, I love seeing Giannis take a three point shot, like just on his own. Like not the it wasn't it wasn't late in the clock. He just caught the ball. I was like, you know, I'm gonna shoot a three. That made me so proud, man. I'm telling you, once Giannis learned how to hit a few of those, it's a wrap. It's already a wrap. He already literally Giannis. Uh, I'm, I, I'll say this: once Giannis and the and the Bucks clinch the number one seed uh, in the East, Giannis to me becomes the best player in the NBA. Um, I'm mad at that. I, you know, I love Steph. Steph is my guy. But He's Steph can't do what Giannis can do on all areas of the floor. Giannis is one of the best is one of the best front court defenders ever already. Like the block shots, the rebounding, the defensive discipline, like his scoring and and who he is as a scorer late in games has always been what has been his Achilles heel. Not anything else. Giannis just can't get buckets when you really need him to. But I think that He's gonna figure it out. But he's gonna figure, he's gonna it, figure out. it out. Especially especially because of the fact that, that he's surrounded by so many shooters. Yeah. So the lane is open. The man take two dribbles and he has the fucking rim. Yeah. He was standing and fucking dunking at the ball at Which the same time. Which is also time. why Ben Simmons is disappointed because it's like he's I mean he's no, not he's he, not because Ben Simmons was more Magic Johnson but listen, than, than yeah, he is. But yeah, but Giannis Magic, is more LeBron to me. Yeah, but, but yeah, but Magic was aggressive. Like Magic was still out there taking, if I'm not mistaken, probably like eighteen shots a night. If like if like Ben Simmons just drove more, like he, again, like there's there there should be no reason with his size and his length that if somebody that if LeBron play you at the fucking uh, foul line, you can't get to the rim. Literally, if you drive at that man hard, like I'm talking about, drive at that man hard, get a man some type of move, you're gonna get to the rim, bro. Yeah, but he but but when you can't shoot, what you gonna do? He don't have that? to fucking shoot the ball. Just go to the rim. He does that, but he just do it, do it more. Why? When I got Joel and B, Tobias Harris, and it would even be easy team. to get them open if you did it more. He, they, he, they get open shots, like Joel and B said. I hate it when I pass them the ball and they don't. They make would them. get more, and you wouldn't be able to just sag off the I, man. You gotta, I think. I think what you got to realize is that the same reason why I say that he's better than LeBron is because you putting this pressure on Ben Simmons like he a ten year vet when he in his second year. I understand that. And when nobody put that pressure on LeBron but in listen, his second year. You they was be, wondering if LeBron was gonna maybe take that team to the playoffs. No, all not I'm like saying, putting pressure on him bro, saying, yo, you gotta be better than Magic. You gotta be not better than I'm, Magic no, Johnson. That's not what right I was now. saying. I was just saying you just gotta be aggressive. Like even fans a guy like Colin Sexton. The one thing you don't ever have to tell the man to do is be aggressive. Yeah, but he huff. He's not huff. He's huff. He's not huff. He's, he's huff. not look, 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 look. Mateen Cleaves heavy. You're huff. wild. I've been watching more Colin Sexton. Um, he's definitely getting better. He's. I still don't think he's really a 
point guard. I think he should probably be more so playing the two. And actually in Cleveland, they've been doing that a lot more. They've been, because now they got Brandon Knight. They also got Deli here. So they've been putting them at the, they've been running them out there a lot of times with uh, another, like, combo guard, kind of, sort of. He's been playing better, but, uh, and, and one thing about him since day one, he's at least aggressive. Like, he's aggressive. He don't stop coming. Like, he just keep coming. I don't see that in Ben Simmons sometimes. Like, if he just literally, there should be no reason with, at his size that somebody can play you at the fucking three-point line. G, just drive hard. They're going to foul you. Or if people are going to come help you, you can just kick the ball out. Or you're going to get to the rim. He got a nice handle. He can give a man a move and get to the rim. You got to watch him more, I think. I don't think you watch him enough. I don't think you watch him. But also, I think that he would be better you- if he was on his own team. I don't think you're watching him enough. I also think he thinks he would be better if he's on his own team, which is why he you, would. I mean, did no, you not? No, that's not what I'm saying. I'm finna say that's why you you heard you seeing them fucking tampering fucking charges because Ben Simmons what got what two more years left on his deal, one more yeah, year left on two his more, deal, one more, one more, one more. I mean, he still got like the rookie shit, but yeah. like if he say he don't want to stay and play with Embiid, I mean, you. I mean, honestly, so like, I think that Ben Simmons you might just gonna sound crazy, but I think that Ben Simmons on his own team would be better than um, Embiid. If I already told you that but, he's better, he's better than LeBron. But look, so he's definitely gonna be better listen, than Embiid. But listen, but listen. Here's why I say that. But because, Embiid is better than him right now because Embiid can score. But here's why I say that. I say that because remember when they went on that like ten game winning streak last year? You know who? Fourteen game. Fourteen game. You know who was hurt? Yeah, yeah. Embiid. Yeah, but they also had shooters surrounded him. Uh, yeah, I think that like he's, Ben Simmons again. I think I I think that Ben Simmons would be better on his own team. Like I I I, I do I, think that he's I better. With that. That's why I think he's gonna be better than LeBron because he's gonna have a better career than LeBron. But that don't make you a better basketball no, player. No, it, it is though because no, he's gonna doesn't. be able to develop in more ways than LeBron did. I, I think that when you have to do more, you develop in more ways. Mm, like nah. LeBron couldn't go out there and not shoot the ball. He had to shoot the ball. Hmm? Who else gonna shoot the shit? Yeah, but LeBron wasn't required to go out there and get you ten rebounds a game at that point in time. Ben Simmons I mean, he, can go out there on any night and get you expect him to give you ten rebounds. I mean, a game. yeah, but LeBron was still giving and seven. He gave you ten rebounds I mean, yeah, and ten assists a game. Get, I mean, I mean, yeah, but I think if you ask LeBron to do that, especially in this NBA, he and can they do run it. Ben Simmons in the low post. They I mean, run running LeBron in the low post every time like they do with Ben Simmons. They literally run plays for that man to go to the low block, catch the ball, dribble it twice, turn around and lay it up. I mean, yeah, sure, but also at the same time they was running perimeter. They just got they got LeBron. two different games. bro. I agree. So then why you said up here saying he better than because he's gonna be better than LeBron because they because because LeBron is the prototype. But you literally just no said, LeBron is a prototype and all these guys are just gonna be different variations. I mean of that don't mean prototype. you're gonna be better though just because no, I mean, no, no, I'm looking no I'm no look so everybody that's the prototype of what LeBron is and I'm looking at their game and I'm saying they're gonna be better I'm saying they're gonna be better because they the prototype but they better I mean, than him yeah, at but, doing certain stuff. I mean I mean I mean the I same mean, reason yeah, I mean, but that I mean, don't mean you're gonna be better huh I mean yeah but that don't mean that you're gonna be better just because like we got the model now. I mean I mean yeah but you could be close to as great if you mean even if you look at a guy like Kobe but. I think that LeBron James' that's career fair. is going to be easy for anybody that's going to be uh, uh, his prototype that's a little bit better than him to catch up to. Like LeBron James' career is immaculate. Don't get me wrong, but he was the first. Uh, he was the first of his kind. The same way Shaq was really the first of his kind. Like in terms of just like a fucking he's the only of force. Of, no, he's not the only of his kind. He's the Who first of. The he's one? the first of his kind. Who is the he's other the, Shaq? He's the first. Name of, me the other huh? Shaq. Name me. No, the no, other no, Shaq. no, 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 no. Shaq was the only one of his kind. Okay. But the, but but the problem was that the game evolved so fast that you couldn't you didn't really get another chance to get another Shaq. Because by that time the game I went more no no because but because by that time. When Shaq came in, he was so fucking dominant. You still trying to you still trying to draft big men, but really you was more so moving towards wings and more so like power four, small four type shit, which is why guys like Dirk and all them motherfuckers was getting drafted. You could still and have also a Shaq. Mike was winning rings, huh? You could like you you could still Who? have a Shaq right huh? now. I think that like fucking MB could be a Shaq type guy. Mm. Nah, he got like a little bit more. Nah, his game is way more evolved than that. I mean, like yes, no, I don't think but... you're never you're never gonna see a Shaq type because they were asked to evolve faster than that. Shaq got big, and then once Shaq got big, they was like, okay, we need to outpace them and outshoot them, and that's how we going to beat them. I mean, so you yeah. outpace them, you outshoot them, and then immediately anybody in that lineage that becomes next, that they, they're trash I mean, immediately. yeah, but hold on. Even it's, look at Dwight. The, yeah, but, yeah, but. Once the league sped up, Dwight, Dwight literally Dwight dropped. Dwight also tw- declined because his body was fucked up. Shaq declined because his body was fucked up. Yeah, but Dwight declined much quicker than what Shaq did. But hold on, look. And also, you got to I disagree think, with that. And also, Dwight wait, still wait, to this day quick. was giving you a double double. Real on, quick, man. real quick, real quick. And also, that's fair. And um, also, like, they're different versions of Shaq. Like, if you're talking about Laker Shaq, okay, cool. But Orlando Shaq and young Laker Shaq wasn't playing like three peat Laker Shaq. Three peat Laker Shaq was already low key, if I'm not mistaken, basically 30 years old. And had added like 50 pounds. Yeah. So. 
Orlando Shaq and Young Lakers Shaq ain't this like there's different stages of Shaq's career. But Shaq to, right now is the only of his kind. But I think other play. I, honestly, I think this is gonna sound crazy, but I think that like Giannis has like a lot of Shaq in him. Especially when he get down low, I think he lead the league in dunks right now, like by a wide margin. No, I'm not upset at that, but that's also why I said that I think that LeBron is a prototype because LeBron to me is a prototype for a guy like Giannis. Giannis just the only thing Giannis doesn't really do better than better than LeBron really at this age is nah, Giannis no, the first Giannis. No, wait a minute, nah, nah, he the first, uh, yeah, nah, he the first Giannis. Nah. G, G, look at Giannis no, and then look no, at LeBron. No, look, no, look. I understand what you mean, but I mean the first in terms of the power. Like Kevin, even even Giannis, Giannis is not a is not a humongous guy. Like LeBron is a huge no. Wait, bro, can you let me finish? Like LeBron is a huge guy and a, and a muscular guy, but he's a little bit shorter, right? Giannis is a taller guy, but he's a little bit slimmer than LeBron. LeBron is a fucking is a is a goddamn tank. Giannis ain't really a tank. Giannis still got some skinny to him, kind of like Kevin Durant do. So what I'm he saying is KD's no. But what, I'm, what I'm saying is he's the first person I've been able to see that's like a LeBron type prototype, just a little bit tall. All these guys are gonna be either be a little bit taller or around LeBron height, because that's what the fuck it requires to be able to do that shit. But he gonna be able to do fucking everything on the floor. And once the and usually they not gonna know how to shoot coming in because it's gonna be tougher and it's way easier for them to get to the rim. But once they get older and they develop that shot, it's a wrap. Like he on the same trajectory. He just a way better rebounder, infinitely better rebounder than LeBron ever was. And that's the only thing. But LeBron is an infinitely better passer than Giannis will ever be. So that's the difference. That's the trade off. Now with Giannis is just all right. Can you develop your game as much as LeBron did over time? If Giannis, Giannis going out there and shooting fadeaways six years from now like LeBron was doing versus Toronto, we I'm not you not telling me LeBron better than that man. I'm sorry. That's fair, but I think Giannis. That's that's what I'm saying. I'm fair. not saying that they. I'm not saying that that that, that they got to literally be LeBron height. That's it's just fair. like look but, at that game. That's fair, but also I think that Giannis and like Giannis is the first Giannis. I'm not upset. I that. like 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 I think Bron was quote unquote the first Bron. But I think Giannis is in that. I think that there are like there are like certain players where it was like this shit started with them. <laughs> like, I think there's like Magic, um, there's Shaq. We the one no Shaq before Shaq. There's LeBron, fucking. Uh, there's Giannis. I think Giannis is in there. Steph is even in with Steph. Yeah, 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 yeah. Steph is in there. I mean, like Gilbert had his years, but Gilbert wasn't a shooter that Steph was. Gilbert is more of a scorer, and I think Steph is more of a shooter. Yeah, I mean, and Steph has already passed Gilbert in basically every damn Yeah, already. yeah. So, like, Steph, it's like certain guys where it's like this shit started with them. Like, even Mike. Mike didn't start with Mike. Also, KD was going to be honest going to go to the Wars in two years watching. I mean, it made sense. Like, even, like, I enjoy watching them play together. It looked nice. It was dope. So, so bye, KD. It leave. looked nice. Get out. Like Draymond said, leave. You don't want to be here anyway. No, I mean, like, Can you imagine it looked nice. Steph, Clay, Giannis, and Draymond. I mean, Draymond, will Draymond even be there? Yeah, he'll be there. In two years, possibly. In two years, he'll be there. Possibly. He's going to be like a six man or some shit like that. He'll Makes be sense. there. I don't know. Draymond, actually, Draymond might be like, man, I want to leave. And they're going to trade this motherfucker to, like, Orlando. I mean, but also, if the Bucks can't keep Giannis, it might be pretty much over for a lot of small market teams. Because for the most part, not for the most part, like, barring injury or something like that, we still got to see what happens this summer. They've done everything right. Like, I think the Pelicans, I actually watched the video on YouTube, I actually, I actually forgot who made it, but the Pelicans had, like, a lot of bad luck. Like, it wasn't like they was out there doing, like, or, like Orlando having a team, man. Like, they had a lot of bad, a lot of injuries, bro. Like, I think Eric Gordon comes there, he put, pretty much fucked up the entire time in New Orleans. And he was averaging 22 points when he came there. Yeah, but he was He mid, was yeah. messed up the entire time in New Orleans. You trade for Boogie, you start like, you figured out that he tears his fucking Achilles. Drew Holiday was even hurt for a whole year at the time. Like they, yeah, and then his wife, then his had, wife they, they had a lot of bad luck in New Orleans. A lot of bad luck in New Orleans. But for the Bucks, pretty much so so far, everything's pretty much going right. You haven't had no major. I mean Jabari, but he kind of got phased out anyway. I mean, if he would, I don't know. If Jabari would have got hurt, I think he would have been way better. I agree. I mean, he still he still went healthy and playing and playing starter minutes, giving you around eighteen, nineteen a game. I mean, yeah, but they like they, like that didn't set them back. Yeah, no, nah, I mean, but that's because you had Giannis. That's like if Clay get hurt. I mean, like, but also they I mean, did. I, mean, I think they like got middle. They picked up middles and I think through trade or somehow from Detroit. Uh, they picked up Bledsoe. They signed. Like they also made the right move. Brogdon. They got Brogdon. You yeah. know what I'm saying? They also made the right moves and built their team. I just think it depends on if they get to the finals. If they get to the finals, then Giannis stays. If they don't, the next two years, then he's leaving. Mm-hmm. And I'm leaving. If I'm him, I'm leaving. Like I'm like I did what I could with this team, but I want to go and try with a different team. That's fair. 
At that point, he'll be 20, what, 26, 27? Yeah. Why not? I've, and at that point, he will have played eight or nine years. It'll be the, it'll be a KD situation where he'll have played eight or nine years for that franchise. He'll easily, to me, be the best player in the in the, in the Bucks franchise. Oh, although, no, Kareem, although I know Kareem, Kareem and although and I know Oscar. Kareem and Kareem and Oscar, I'm sorry. Like you're wild. Kareem mm. did also win a ring now. No, okay, okay, fine. Kareem uh, did. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, fine. He would be a third best. Third best. Player. Third best. Third but best. if I had to choose one to start my franchise, but I'm choosing Giannis. I'm sorry. Over both of them. I mean, I, don't, I, I, I never see saw both of them play every night, so I'm not going to comment on that. But, okay. But, yeah. Um, also, final thoughts. Um, you know, I know I said that I think Steph is going to be better than Kobe. Uh, hashtag Steph better than Kobe. That's going to be named this episode. Um, it's going to make a lot It's gonna make a lot of people mad. Um, but, I know I said that. <laughs> But Steph, you did not have a Mamba mentality in an All Star game, my friend. I'm gonna need you to do a little bit better. For some reason, this man in All Star game just trash. Because they coming on screens in the All Star game. No, they're double. They were doubling the man in the All Star game. I mean, well, yeah, we can't let you fucking pull up from 30 feet. You can do that, but you're not gonna do it every damn time. But you do make it some of the times. Double this man. Fuck, do you mean? And we down. We trying to win. Like I that's think that's also why Kyrie is not better than Steph Curry because ain't nobody doubling Kyrie Irving ever on an All Star game. So that don't mean you're not better. No, he's not better. Stop. It just mean that man shoot threes better. No, it mean that man is better. Steph better. No, it Hashtag doesn't. Steph no, better. it doesn't. He shoots yes. threes better. I never Steph said better. that man couldn't shoot. One more year, Steph is gonna be better than Kobe easily. The most efficient player in NBA history. Give him his credit. He did it with more, with less, in less minutes, with less he shots. He did it with less, huh? He did it with more. When the fuck did Kobe ever play on a team? When when the fuck did Steph Curry have Shaq on his team? That's dope. But look at how many teams Kobe did it with. What about the other team? We just had this argument about Steph Curry. Steph Curry could win rings with two with two different rosters. Okay, when he was the best player on uh, one of them, huh? And 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 Kobe Bryant was the best player on one of them. Two of them. Two of them. Two of them. Two out of five. Come on, man! Stop that! Get out of here! Get out of here! And Steph Curry is the best player on the Warriors. Kevin Durant is the best scorer. No, the same way with Russell Westbrook is the best. It's still the best player on the OKC Thunder. No, he's not. Paul George is the best. I don't know about that. Russ is the best player on the Thunder. No, I don't know about that. Russ is still the best player on the Thunder. No, I do not know about that. No, no, look at me. I do not. I'm not looking at you because no, I don't know about that. I'm not going to argue this with you. Paul George don't have his triple doubles. I'm sorry. So what? Fuck out of here. So what? No. That don't mean you. I mean that's because no, of play Russ style. Russ is having a shooting slump this year. That's cool. No, I'm not. But it's also no. because of play style. I think he's a better defender than Russ. Obviously, Russ passes the ball better. Um, better rebounder. Rebounder. I mean, yes, but yes, he's a better rebounder. Yes, yes he's but a better no. Rebounder. Better at attacking the rim. Yes. I don't think he's better at attacking more, the rim. And also, more clutch. And easily. also, and also, hold on. PG is a better finisher clutch. than Russ. Uh, he's a better finisher than Russ. I kind of got to disagree with you on that one. And he's a better shooter than Russ. It's close, no, but I think no, we get no, to the point. De- no, the only thing PG does better than Russ is dribble, shoot, and play defense. And play defense. That's it. I mean, that's a lot of categories. No, it's also, not. Also, I think he gets to the rim no, it's easier. Not. Russ does everything else better than him. I don't know about that, bro. Like, I don't. I, I literally, when I look at them, I do not know who's the best player anymore. Now, granted, I got to see PG for the rest of the year, but this man PG on some different shit this year. I ain't never seen this man look like this year. Yeah, into the playoffs. He ain't never not look. It PG gotta continue. Second round. It gotta look. It gotta continue. But again, I ain't never seen this man look like this. But hold on, PG did break his fucking leg out of his body, which I'm sure it takes a while to get back from. So this man came earlier, but he just got hurt. I just wanna say, Kimba Walker Kimba, you let Pappy down. I'm sorry, G. You are mm. you a god off in that three point contest and you were kinda trash in the all star game too. I didn't say Kimba was gonna win that huh? uh, uh contest. I said been? Buddy Hill. No, no, but still, that's no. You've been rap family. You've been telling me how he, how he's some superstar. I don't know why he was in a three point contest. He can't shoot like that. He not that type of shooter. Okay, I, as long as you admit that. Nah, he nah. I mean, he can shoot like in a game, but like it's the difference between shooting in a game and shooting in a fucking contest. Which is why like Joe Harris would win. He not a better shooter than stuff though. Yeah, I agree. He is a great shooter though. But in a fucking a- contest, like yeah. Yeah, I agree. But all right, Hoops and Roots Happy Hours. Boy TBJ, find me on Twitter, Instagram, Real TBJ. It's R E L T P J. Steph Curry, you choked at the end of the All Star game, but it's all good um, next year. He didn't choke, he just got he, abused. He, he choked. No, he, he just got abused. You saw kind of what life without everybody else around him would be like. Oh my God. Okay. He just did. He was playing with All Stars. You're ridiculous. Yeah, but it's a different team. That's okay. why he don't win All Star MVP. Go ahead, man. I'm not talking to you no more. Um, yeah. He should have shot that bitch more, though. It's been TPJ. It was times when I was screaming at, at him in the game and just like, shoot. I'm like, do you shoot, bro? Like, pull up. Fuck are you doing? 
This is the time to do this shit. But anyway, uh, follow me on Twitter at Pappy World. P A. Man, Kyle Lowry. Kyle Lowry is <laughs> awful, <laughs> awful, bro. Hey, NBA. Stop putting hey, Kyle Lowry. Hey, NBA, 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 NBA. Do me a favor, G. Stop. Putting Stop putting this Kyle man. Kyle Lowry. G. Stop. No, Stop no, look, that man no, G. Stop look, 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 I don't give a fuck if you got to put Emmanuel Moody in the goddamn All Star game. Just do not put stop this putting this man Kyle, Kyle Lowry, Lowry on. He is terrible. Game, Kyle Lowry Kyle is the Lowry worst All Star game player in history, dog. Kyle Lowry and fucking Lamarcus Aldridge don't need to be in no more All Star games. Vucevic too. I don't want to see Vucevic. No, nah, I like Vucevic. Vucevic was actually trying to score. Like he was dribbling the ball and passing. I like Vucevic. Lamarcus no. Lamar they look. Lamar can do a pick and pop. Lamar can do a pick and pop. Jumper, G. I, G, I swear to God, I think one mid range jumper got took all night and it was Lamarcus Aldridge. He shot that bitch from the elbow. I'm like, we did not come here to see this shit. <laughs> we did not come here to see you take elbow jumpers in the fucking all star game. Y'all did not tune in for this. No. <laughs> Get this man off to the goddamn court right now. <laughs> Immediately. But, uh, as always, man, follow me on Twitter at Pavin World, P A V Y World. Oh, one word. Uh, Roller Deck City out right now. Pavers Volume 1 out right now. Pavers Volume 2 coming soon. Yep. Uh, yo, shout out to, um, you know, Team Tampering. You know, I, LeBron, I give you your credit. Yo, that was a Oh, yeah. Also, I just want to say, the first half of this All-Star game was, was extreme, terrible. Was extremely boring. Like, I was literally... About to cut this shit I don't know. I didn't know. I, I was in the room, but I didn't watch none of the first half of this game. That's how boring The first half was terrible. I tweeted for like a couple minutes. I'm like, man, this shit boring. I started doing other G, stuff. G, literally, G, the first half was like some of the worst bad of all I've ever watched in my life. It was a fucking glorified shoot around. Now, the second half, they started hooping. But the first half was a glorified shoot around, bro. It was terrible. Like, terrible. And then Dame came in and started pulling from everywhere. Clay like, was yes, going that, crazy, too. Yeah, but. nah, yeah. I was actually enjoying watching Clay. I'm like, yeah, shoot, bro. Shoot. Oh, so now he did. wanted to shoot. Yeah. But, just, when he, but when he made not, 15 threes in the game, he was being disrespectful. Because, I mean, to him. that shit was weak, G. How was it weak? It's not the time for that, G. Like, you was clearly just going for the record, bro. So that what? That shit weak, G. That shit so weak, G. That shit weak. Bro. If you can go for a it's record, weak, you're not going to go for it? It's weak, G. If you Kobe and you at 81, but you still got one more quarter left and you can but get like to 100, you're not going to do it? But, like, look, listen, though, bro. It wasn't needed, G. It's like, look. What, if that, you go back Kobe scored 81, wasn't needed. It was just the fuck it was, <laughs> Okay, 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 Fuck, uh, did you see who you was playing with? I mean, you gonna throw the ball to Chris Mill? No, I feel him, but G, like, come who, on, Kobe. G, who else need to shoot that night? I'm just saying, why you? Who need, else need to shoot I'm that saying, night? Why you need to score 81? Because who else need to shoot no, that no, night? No, no, no. The same reason you can tell me, you can't explain to me why you can't, why you need to score. I mean, why you need to shoot 15 Cause threes? Because G, it wasn't needed. They won by like 50. G, that shit wasn't because needed. Because he bro. hit 15 threes. No, G, he didn't play the fourth quarter. G, they were fucking up like. 30 because in the first hit quarter. 15 but G, you up 30 in the first because quarter. It's not necessary. G, you took 24, bro. You literally at some you literally at some point in time. Hit 15 was just trying to break the record. Don't make G, sense, you took G. fucking 24. He didn't even take 24 in the fucking All-Star game, G. Okay. Huh? He didn't even take 24 in the fucking All-Star game. Because they didn't pass on the ball enough. Yo, seven, yes, he did. He could have shot that bitch every time. He was literally shooting that bitch every time. That shit weak. It's not weak. weak. You're ridiculous. That shit was but weak. alright, man. It's been hoops and bruises. You got any final words? Uh oh, Diallo's dunk over uh, Shaq was wild. Diallo's dunk was over Shaq was 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 amazing. Um, the the first John Collins dunk was actually really good when he grabbed the side of the backboard and did that. The touchy he ever yo was yo there. John like, Collins broke the play. <laughs> that man broke John the play. Collins yeah. that man broke you the know play. how mad that goddamn museum is that you man. <laughs> <laughs> See, the museum director was probably in the building watching that mad shit, making sure shit. they get broke. They like shit. being mad, careful with it the whole night. This motherfucker can go up and kick the fuck out that shit. <laughs> hey, if it would have been broke the play, shit. Oh, Tuskegee Airman would have been out of here if he was they, if he was they captain. Yeah, that man. That little ass cap on. This. Oh my like, god! Once he put that scarf and that cap on, I'm like, gee, it's a wrap. This shit gonna be a disaster. <laughs> I'm like, that like, yeah, on top of that, the dunk was mad regularly. No, it's that Jacob Blake jumped up. Oh, I'm sorry. My car. The man. <laughs> <laughs> the man Blake, G. The man Blake jumped up a car, car G. He jumped over to Skeet. He jumped over a whole ass yeah. key. He jumped, the man jumped over yeah. a paper mache a plane. Paper, a fucking Wright Brothers plane. That shit weak, G. Get the shit out of here, bro. That I'm gonna start dry. calling John Collins and, 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 uh, and I'm gonna start calling John Collins and Trey Young the Wright Brothers. <laughs> That's how you 
actually a fire nickname. You the right brother. They take a fight, G. I mean, oh my God, I mean, man. do you see him in games? They do be throwing logs from everywhere. Oh my God, no, that shit is hilarious. That man really broke that goddamn plan. Then Smith Junior G, I swear, if you ever enter into another that contest, G, he G, was you good. Need to be, it's just that he kept missing. No, the dunks, I, look, hey, the mayor should have banned him from New York City for the next day. Don't come back home. Stay your ass and watch that game the dunks, and think about what you did. No. Oh, uh, one more thing. It was great to see Blake back in the All Star game. It is, yeah. It's it great was. to see Blake back in the All Star game. It was, game. especially because like he's a different player than he was before. So yeah. even what he was doing was different but he was hooping he was yeah. throwing great passes I mean and there was some classic Blake he did give you a couple of lives they were like oh shit yeah. Blake clean got up yeah it was his first all-star appearance since 2015 I think they said yeah it was, so it was really dope four years. and yeah. also Blake's the first battle Hall of Famer now oh yeah uh, well first battle second battle no he's not no he's not Blake's not a Hall of Famer yet. Yes, he is. No, that, which is like six All Star appearances. Blake got to get out the second round. Who gives a fuck? G? He Blake, got six All Star appearances. Blake's not a Hall of Famer until he got out of second round. Who gives round. a fuck? I'd give a fuck. If Chris Paul wasn't a Hall of Famer until he got out of the second round, Blake Griffin's not a Hall of Famer right now. I'm sorry. I disagree with you. I'm not giving that to you, Blake. You don't Blake was hurt, G. No. Blake was hurt, G. Blake was hurt, G. He wasn't even that, G. Blake was hurt, G. He wasn't even that. You can't shade the man for not being that, G. Blake was hurt, bro. That man wasn't even on the court, G. That's not his fault. He a Hall of Famer. He didn't take those L's, G. Six time All Star, four time All NBA, Rookie of the Year, Hall of Fame, G. Shout out Blake Griffin. Leave that man alone. He was hurt, dude. All right, what we name this? It's hashtag Step Better Than Kobe or what else? Name Step Better Than Kobe. All right. They gonna know I ain't say that shit. They gonna know I wasn't the one that said that shit. I don't know. Yeah, name it that. Shorty got that wet, 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 wet,